and this is what happened and you don't know how to install them so this part is not attached to anything so hi everybody welcome back to my channel this is Natal uh, today I'm actually just going to show you guys on the channel the first time how I actually install this flex rod so it's the first time trying it I never tried it before I had I struggled with them but anyways it's good sometimes to try something new and yeah that's the point of trying things so anyways I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video and before we go into the actual video uh, don't forget to subscribe like the video and um, yeah turn on your notifications to get notified every time I post a new video anyways I'm gonna quickly go ahead and show you guys how I install them and yeah I would I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try to do what are these flex foam colors roller colors rolled and I'm gonna try to use this one to sand my hair. I've never done it before so this is my first time. It's about how many? Ten in here and twelve in here so that's about twenty two. So I'm gonna try to use them all. These ones are long so I'm gonna use them in the back. And some of these are short and long, so I'm going to use them in the mid. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try. So anyways, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to try something new to my hair. Never done this one before. It's going to be a new start. I'm using this leave-in conditioner. This is the um, Jet Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil. I'm filling up with a smooth and whole pudding. That's from Olive Oil, ORS. And then I'll just finish with my oil. So I'm going to start with my leave-in. I am just doing my hair as I said. I am uh, just stretching my hair using a comb. Making sure that my hair is super like, you know, detangled and stretched. Um, And then of course I just make sure. I, do, I took like a few sections. I didn't make it too big or too small like a medium sized sections and yeah of course as usual I tried I tried to you know to try it at first it was so hard because I've never installed them before but uh, it worked out actually I end up okay <laughs> I end up actually like watching someone's YouTube video to see how to install the flexeron so yeah <laughs> So that's what I did. And then I just keep doing the same thing, to be honest. Just like making sure my hair is moisturized. So this is basically starting off with a very like pre-washed uh, hair. Make sure it's super like clean. And yeah, you can do on un uh, like unwashed hair. But just make sure, of course, it's not, it's dank cold and everything. That's why I make sure I use the comb. That's like one of my small, that little tiny comb that I use to detangle. That's my little detangling brush. I use a lot of when I'm like uh, styling. And I go in again with the same thing. So most of my, the pink one were in the back and the blue one were in the front. So yeah, so that's basically what I was doing in the video. I didn't want to make it to be too long. I just wanted to show you guys that's what I was doing. I tried as much as I can to to make sure to make sure I installed them better. So anyways I just jumped to the actual like how I install them. Like you can see them I have the top notch is mostly those color. I can't remember what that color is. I'm colorblind right now. Uh yeah, and then I have the pink one in the bottom. So the pink one were just more in the longer sections. If you didn't know the back of my hair is longer than my front. I don't know why, but that's how my hair grew. Um, that's just the last piece of my uh, last piece of my hair or my the section. And basically, do the same thing. Make sure it's detangled. So make sure your hair is super detangled before, like when you're washing it, and then when you're styling it, it's just easy. Just do like a little strokes of detangling, and it should be good. So yeah, this is the final. Uh, installation and i was happy about it i tried it wasn't that bad but yeah anyways i'm gonna quickly jump in to show you guys how i actually remove them and this is just me trying to tell you guys what i'm doing 
So yeah. I just woke up. I installed them last night, so I slept with them. Um, the biggest challenge, of course, is sleeping with them. So. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I want to quickly go ahead and remove them because I do not want to have them on. I don't know how the hair is going to look like, but that's the point of. That's the point of <laughs> trying new things. So I'm going to start in the back. I'd never did remove them before, so I'm trying to stretch it. I don't know, guys. And then I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm just gonna. Wait, how did I do it? Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna unravel like that. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go back to the direction that I did them, but I'm so confused. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. One is out. Uh, they're not that bad. You know, in your head, you have like a different thinking. Like, it's going to be so curly. And then you remove it's like, oh, nothing. But it's okay. It's a 4C hair, so don't expect too much. My expectations were probably a little bit high, but I was like, hey, I don't know. Let's go that way. Back to how you twist. Let's see. Uh oh. Wait. <laughs> There we go. Tell me how you guys think. Because this is the first time. When I was installing them, I was like struggling. So this is how they look like. Anyway, so yeah. Let you guys leave your comments below. Let me know what is something else you would like me to try. It's actually not bad. So this is how long my hair is. And look at that one. Anyways. This is how my hair looked like after I took them out. Very different. So here in the middle is a different size. Over here, they're much more stretched because there's a longer, it's like the pink one. It's much stretch. Here is less. So maybe next time I might have to just find a second pair of these and just do the whole hair with this one so that it's so like more stretch. So that's the difference. This is how it looks like. Yeah, so I'm gonna continue trying to fluff it out. I start in the back. I'm gonna just like follow where it separates and just like do that as I go. It looks like it's gonna be just a big fluff, so yeah. And this is how it looks like. So this is the one side. I'm gonna just go ahead and do this as well. I'll be back. I'm gonna finish off camera because we're not doing this. All the time we've done it before let me go and do it so anyways welcome back I am done fluffing up my hair and this is basically how much I fluffed and reached and this is how much volume and curls I can achieve so yeah so this is just how it looks like I'm just gonna turn and look uh, I'm gonna turn and make you guys look the back so yeah yeah, basically it's just a very simple one. I did not want to fluff all the way because I just wanted to keep a bit of curls, a bit of length, and yeah. So anyways, this is how I achieve this hair look. And um, definitely next time I will try a little bit more, but this is the first time trying. So let me know if you like it or let me know if I've done better than trying. So anyways, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm not gonna try to do more to it. Probably tomorrow I'll fluff it out, but yeah. This is how it looks. Please enjoy watching this video. It's a very quick hairstyle. Let me know if there's other hairstyles you want to see more or something that you want me to try. But anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Leave your comment. Let me know what you want to see. Leave me a comment if you like this hairstyle too. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.